Hi, how are you today? I hope you are okay. So I'm here today to talk to you about something new that I bought. This is not related to the camera or the lens, not anything or lights I'm sitting in the studio, no. This is related to editing. So I edit everything in Resolve, DaVinci Resolve. And DaVinci Resolve works amazing. Uh, it's free and it's you can do anything with that software, but it has a lot of keys. Of course, you can buy the the panels from DaVinci, but they are super expensive, and I don't want to go that way. So I decided and made my own macro keyboard. But it's small; it only has 16 keys. You cannot change what each key does, and I was always going from this to the keyboard, and that was not practical. So I decided to buy something. And before I tell you what I bought, please hit that like button down below, that will help a lot for the algorithm. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. So, what I bought is the Elgato. Stream Deck. This is a keyboard with 15 keys and each key has its own uh, screen so you can assign whatever you want to the screen. So let's see how this works and how you can program it. So it's very easy, you just open the uh, Stream Deck software and each button has its own, uh, as you can see, it has its own icon. It's very easy. If you put, press the, the icon, you can tell the action that you want to uh, do and the icon that you want to assign to this. You can select the file, the select the icon from file, create a new icon or open uh, an icon from the library. There are some icon packs, but the ones that are, are available are a little poor. They are missing a lot of um, icons, so I decided to make my, make my own icons. Uh, the functions that you have for um, assigning is all of this, so you have a lot of options, but the main options that I use are the ones that are in the system options that are the open a website uh, an hotkey suite and hotkey there is a momentary and you press it it launches that hotkey open a program just drag the program there and it launches text if you wanna every time you press that it will for example write something for example if you have your own name and address and all of that if you want to put it on an email you just press the, that key and you automatically put that in the multi multimedia keys options so let's see if you, let's come to an available place so as you can see here you have these three options here you can come here put a website and for example let's open the YouTube channel and you come here you can select from a file and come here and we have the YouTube and as you can see it already has the here and if you can see here in the stream deck it adds this and if you press it it launches YouTube now you can delete it of course and you can move it from one place to the other or you can copy and it's easy to the software is super simple to, to assign any option that you want to a key so let's go to the DaVinci we open DaVinci Resolve we we'll press on the DaVinci icon and it opens DaVinci Resolve. We open a project and in 
the project page you can go to you are, we are in edit for example let's jump to color and it's in color um, as you notice it sometimes is a little slow to jump from and it's not from the computer because the computer is fast I think in, in other programs uh, it's not that slow doing things it's only on DaVinci and only when you are switching from one page to the other sometimes it's slow uh, to jump from one page to the other but we can come here and we can it's it comes to the printer lights or you can go to the notes page that is this one and the printer lights are this one and if I it's now on full step printer lights it, you can see here this it says full and you have here uh, another one a button to change for a quarter and now it says that it's on quarter printer lights if you want to back to full just press again the this light here and it will go you you will have this for jumping from clip to clip and backwards if we go to the nodes here you can jump from node to node and you can edit as you can see this is for the printer lights now if you come here to the printer lights you will see if I go to the printer lights if I press the red plus you will see here that it's changing in the edit page you can go from clip to the next clip jumping all or backward you can play you can stop you can if you press play once it will play normally if you press again it goes faster and faster and faster stop and backwards the same you can copy you can paste you can cut you can do whatever you want your imagination and the da vinci short uh, cuts are the only thing that you have to worry about <laughs> because the stream deck will allow you to put all those uh, easy in here the main reason i bought this is because of editing as i said and it has helped a lot till now i'm super happy with the this because it increases my workflow i'm editing faster so that's a, a plus because editing can take uh, a lot of time and with the, those uh, shortcuts directly on my hand so in my left hand is the stream deck in my right hand is the mouse and i rarely touch my main keyboard that's, that's the main reason why it's so fast you can go fast with it just three fingers you can do almost everything you want and you don't have to be looking at the keys for the letters all of that because immediately you can see the icons the, that are on the button and it is faster for me this is any everything that i have to say about this product uh, it's a good product uh, the, the quality the build quality is very good it has an excellent app for setting all those options and this is my true opinion so this is not a sponsored uh, video because until now I don't have any sponsors of course but if you like this hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you are not and hit that notification bell and I hope to see you in my next video bye